You know, it's really funny. I, I saw a post on, I think, ESPN or Sports Center or whatever, and it was like a NBA game, like dudes, and they, like, no one could make a shot in, like, the longest time, and it was like a funny clip. And the caption was like, what is going on here? And then all these women were in the comments going, see, it's not just WNBA, you guys do it too. And all these guys were like, yo, the reason it's posted is because it's rare. There's a high school basketball coach that recently has been fired after posing as a 13 year old in a JV basketball. Oh, I game. heard about What's this. What's the like, what? Why, why do people do that? What's the win? So he get windmill dunk. She. She. <laughs> she. Oh, really? I heard about a guy that did this. It's a she. This it's was a, a she. she. This is a definitely you heard a about, she. You heard about this? There was a guy who was like 25 years old and he like held himself back in high school and oh, he was I just balling that. out, dude. Yeah. So this is uh, some. CCTV footage, I guess. <laughs> that looks like Leslie right. Sparks. Yeah. Wait, how old is she? This one with the arrow right here is the coach. <laughs> I will uh, give you some more information. She wanted to play with oh, high school kids. 22 year old high school basketball coach is out of a job now after trying to pass as a 13 year old player in a JV game earlier this month. 13 years old. Uh, her name is Arlisha Boykins, an I like assistant. How she's doing skyhook in the fucking. <laughs> Yeah. Thumbnail there. Off the glass. <laughs> An assistant for the Churchland High School Truckers in Virginia impersonated one of her players who was away from the team for a club basketball tournament on Saturday. Probably the best player. Oh, she uh, impersonated her own player. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's smart. Well, it's still not right. <laughs> well, I mean, at least no. it, it's a clear uh, motive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How old are these people Versus usually? 13, oh, JV. Oh, yeah, JV. Exactly. Dude, 22 poses 13. Was this a CW show? Like, that doesn't work. It's a UPN, <laughs> it's a UPN show. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna know. So yeah. instead of athletes one, are different right. though. Yeah, but even when like like say like LeBron's kid, right? When he was 13 in like the whatever league that he plays in, you're like, he looks like a man in a bot like in like he looks like a man, but his face looks like a small child. She for sure probably oh, looks see. like a girl. Oh, it's like a Dominican baseball kids? player. <laughs> yes. what are they? They're high school kids. I'm 13. Also, oh, so it's yeah. like you just have nine to move really fast. Yeah. Yeah. And then just shoot like this. <laughs> And just cover your face. So instead of playing with one less hooper, Boykins apparently took matters into her own hands and suited up as the student athlete. And uh, footage obviously shows her just wrecking everybody. That's tight. This is like a. Wrecking. This is like a. In the era of Joanna Man, this would be a movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did she have to like ball out though? Like she couldn't like. <laughs> yeah. Did she have to stand out? out? Could have like just miss a couple. Ball. Oh man, air ball. The funny thing too is that everybody knows she's the coach. <laughs> yeah, who's coaching them? <laughs> what what is with the scruples of this whole school that they're yeah. in on this? <laughs> Dude, as usual, ain't nobody's watching women's basketball. <laughs> There's like three people oh, on the bleachers. Oh, maybe that's why she did it. Stands, bro. Nobody. Who knows except for the other team? The that's why team. she did it. She's like, it doesn't matter. No one gives a <laughs> yeah. shit. No one's here. Someone uh, needs a stand in. Yeah, let's just have this a, is this is the reference that Steve's talking bro, about. Bro, even their fucking parents oh aren't there. Oh my god, there's oh. more team members watching. Your own parents aren't going, aren't showing up. Is this a syndicated fucking? Oh my gosh. Uh, give me a break already. <laughs> yeah, maybe she was just like, it's inconsequential. This is on TV, huh? But then now she lost her job. Even yeah. the ref's not looking. He's turned the other way. Uh, it's actually the JV coach and the varsity head coach are all fired as so a The JV coach today. allowed it to happen. <laughs> I mean, that's just such a weird thing for everybody to be complicit in. And it's like, a JV game. No, no player was like, I'm not going to play if you're pulling that ridiculous yeah, Even shit. the teammates. Well, yeah, they could have been hyped like, about it. But fuck yeah, coach is in. Yeah, they probably were. I would have been hyped. That's true. And, and plus, like... If the coach is saying it, they're probably these kids that are like, oh yeah, like I guess we're allowed to. It's not the kid's fault, it's fucking her fault. And if the coach is gonna ball out and you just get to kind of chill and watch yeah. the coach yeah, ball, yeah, it's yeah. kind of tight. He throwing her alley oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what kind of says a lot about the mental state of that whole school, probably. That yeah. this is something they would do and everyone would just go, Yeah, that's funny. It would have been better if she that's was like funny. if she was breaking everyone's ankles and shit and then just like pointing at them, like stepping over them like Iverson. <laughs> Dribbling through their legs. <laughs> yeah, dude. It would have oh, been better oh, if, oh, if oh, the oh, coach oh, was a dude wearing like a wig. Just that's what I'm that and dunking. Nah, that's why I draw the line now. Get that guy, the professor on YouTube, to fucking dribble all over these people. I love it. And keep the Spider Man costume on, too. Because you're taking everyone for idiots already. You might as well. Dude, now I know. If I see a guy with a Spider Man costume with the basketball, I'll be like, ah, you're not getting me, pal. Yeah, yeah. Not tricking me. Senior citizen comes up to court. 
Fuck you know they're gonna be the best. the best. That's Kyrie Irving. I know. Yeah. That's Kyrie Irving. A, a, a guy with a with a cane and he's got got sunglasses on. He's like, oh, I'm so blind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna fall for this one. <laughs> Can I shoot some hoops with you guys? <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, right, old blind man. <laughs> <laughs> you could never make it on these courts. <laughs> and ignore completely ignore the cameras all around too. You know, yeah. the best. <laughs> This is the part where you keep riffing. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm, I don't want to talk about this anymore. You don't want to talk about this. <laughs> like, he's fine. I'm done eating. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not talking about JV basketball, dude. <laughs> JV women's <laughs> basketball. We just rang that rag out for fucking five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's funny, yes. though? So, Mark Keppel, this, the high school Ooh. team right here. <laughs> We actually went to a women's, uh, 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 the, the JV what game. What do you mean actually, because, dude? Or was it actually? <laughs> what are you saying like that? <laughs> we actually won. Because they were crushing it way better than the guys. And then the game was actually pretty exciting. Were they playing against girls? Nope. Not just kidding. <laughs> it was, was pretty exciting. What was exciting about it? <laughs> they were making shots nonstop. Yeah. That's, that's fun. That's always really fun. Cool. That's actually cool. I'd love to see that. Yeah. See <laughs> women making shots? <laughs> yeah. Over and over. <laughs> Lots of free throws. Usually when I watch WNBA, it's a bunch of air ball. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> How they're often are you shots. sitting down they're, they're and good. actually watching a WNBA game? Yeah, I have to be go. I have to be walking by, actually. <laughs> have you guys ever watched a full WNBA I game? I have. Yeah? I, yeah, because I because our school used to sing national anthem at WNBA games oh, so. for the uh, Sparks or whatever the hell they were. Oh. Or whatever the hell they were. To be honest, though, no, like I don't, I don't think any of us have time to watch a full NBA game. I haven't even watched a full I NBA didn't game watch in a long time. Choice. I just yeah, like there. when's the last time you sat down and actually watched? A full I did watch the whole Lakers Celtics game recently, watch, and that I watched was, that. I heard that was a good game. That was oh, fucked dude, up, dude. You know, the no call. You know what's really funny? I, I saw a post on I think ESPN or Sports Center or whatever, and it was like a NBA game, like dudes, and they like no one could make a shot, and like the longest time and it was like a funny clip and the caption was like what is going on here and then all these women were in the comments going see it's not just WNBA you guys do it too and all these guys were like yo the reason it's posted is because it's rare <laughs> and that's why it's funny <laughs> I think I saw that clip I think that was a college basketball game too. oh it was a college I game it was a college oh okay yeah so we watched an entire Lakers game last year so we do we do watch those we the do. last year. <laughs> hey, we're just citing the truth. I'm here, just saying okay? we, we, we watch they everything. get watched. Have you guys played like in an organized sport like team like in high school? Or I was in JV basketball. Oh, because you're tall, right? Tall. That, that's what typically tall. happens. Yeah, I played in adult league like after high what, school. What sport? Basketball. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, it was a group of friends. I played in intramural, but I sucked. What's that? We won. <laughs> I sucked, <laughs> but I sucked. We I won. sucked. Our team. It's won. where you. It's where you make teams within the school, and the school plays itself. Oh yeah. Whoever's the best. Those team are fun though. Oh, I played basketball I for ass. a month until I got kicked out of school. My team sucked so bad that we lost every single game that year. I'm not lying. We lost every single game. <laughs> you were the practice. You got team. swept. That everyone was like, all right, we're gonna start the season with these guys. Yeah. Well, Dude. and my my teacher was the he was like the coach or whatever. Did he ever suit up with you guys? Well, no, but he came. He like was excited because I guess he came from another program, and he's like, I'll coach JV basketball here. And then they fired him the next year because we sucked that much ass. Oh, Dude, there's nothing Shit. worse than getting destroyed in a basketball game. It sucks. Like the like the way another team will like blow you out. It's like the worst feeling ever. Because especially when they're hot and they're just making every single fucking basket in your face and they're all getting hyped, their teammates are going crazy, and then you guys can't even fucking make a basket. Because it's a life. repetitive basket. Yeah, bro. It's just like you just get pounded. It's hard, not like a dude. clean knockout in the first round. It's like someone owned your ass for five rounds. And you got to do three more quarters of it. You're yeah. like, you know what I imagine? They get demoralized and start arguing within the team and shit. I fucking pass it to you. Yeah, yeah. You what just I get imagine? mad at everybody. What really sucks is when your school is playing an infamously good school. School, oh, and no. your own oh. students go to the game to see the infamously good school kick your ass. <laughs> oh yeah. Our high school was luckily really fucking good at basketball. Like they would win the CIF championship every year, so it was like going to watch the boys basketball like team was like. A thing. Were the girls good too? They were pretty good, but like not many people. But it was like a spectacle though, right? Like yeah, it was like, like a, a whole thing. The stadiums packed out. Well, because everybody was rallying behind the team. But like when they lost, we'd be like, oh my god, they lost. That's like Mark Keppel with badminton. It was crushing it. 
do it. <laughs> no lie though, we had like Olympic athletes. Yeah, we had two Olympians, I think. That's in tight. high school. That's Our football team was whack though, wow. dude. It looked like, it's funny because how different it is when you're in an all Asian school versus like, my my original high school, Gardena High, our football team was like adult size because it was just Polynesians and black. Yeah. So like those games were so exciting. I had a ninth grade friend that was in the the, the varsity team. It was it was exciting to watch. But uh, <laughs> when it came to Keppel, it was like all the opposite sports. What are you preparing? I'm trying to find the rec our record. Our, our actual middle school record. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's preparing a closer of some sort. Oh, no, no. So our, yeah, yeah, our yeah. high school football team record, I think it was 10 wins in 11 years. Yeah. Holy oh. shit. So not even one win a year, 10 wins in 11 years. At that years. point, you gotta fucking tear down the football field. They keep yeah. it going, yeah. dude. 11 years? Yeah, because it's a whole team of five foot Asian kids that are that are like about a buck, 100 pounds. That's hard. And it's that's a security hard, guard that's the head coach. Yeah. Like the sports department sucked ass. It wasn't an actual like. And you're football not gonna coach. get recruits. You're not gonna get good kids that wanna play football. No, but all the all the sports, like, dude, we had a golf team. We had a Batman team. All the Asian sports, though, we killed wow. it. Yeah, they probably killed, killed it. Math but I didn't like. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't Decathlon. Like it. That's an Asian sport. Yeah, dude. Geography B, killing it. I remember having to do a spelling bee and losing to bookkeeper. What? Really? Oh, because you didn't spell two K's. How do you get the K K? Oh, I got really? I got ninth place for the district because I missed undulate. You just don't forget the one you missed, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Never, you really never forget it. Bookkeep, that's that's fucked up. They have Book two Ks in there? I was like, are you kidding me right now? It's bullshit. Because, yeah, yeah B-O-O-K-K-E-E-P-E-R. Did you snap any oh. clipboards? Fuck! I was honestly pissed. And they know when they give you that word, they're like, he's going to miss the K. Yeah. Steve's like, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help at all. I don't know how kids get more spelling from that. He's like, it's bookkeeper, you retard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they just buying time? Like, what are they gonna find out about it from using it in the sentence? What does that do? Yeah, it's a little hack, I think, when they they, they do that. The, the funny thing is, like, I, I was like, I was so mad because I'm like, I've never fucking heard that word. It's not real. Undulate. What the hell is that? That week, there was like a American Gladiators ripoff TV show. I think it was called WMAC Masters or something. Oh. And then they were like, event number one, the undulating steel. And I went, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, no way, it's real. <laughs> this sounds like underwear to me. Thankfully, bookkeepers are going extinct. <laughs>